Okay, pro wrestling fans, it appears to be official. CM Punk, uh, Phil, as we can call him, and Daniel Bryan officially going to AEW. So what does that mean for you, me, the landscape of professional wrestling? I had a, a, a personal subscriber uh, query me, say, Mike, does this make AEW, does this put them on the map? And my response is they're, they're already on the map. Uh, AEW Dynamite kicked the living shit out of NXT uh, for over a year. Now, NXT was supposed to be, uh, oh, my God. You know, remember three, four, five, six years ago, all you could see from WWE fans was, oh, I don't watch the main roster. I just watch NXT. NXT, NXT, with your fucking nose in the air. Well, guess the fuck what? Your precious little NXT got their precious little ass kicked by AEW. NXT... Uh, you know, Triple H is, oh, yeah, the Performance Center, we get so much great talent in NXT. Nobody gives a fuck. You know why? Because it's your same dollar in Vince's other pocket. You put your money uh, or your eyeballs on NXT, you're just supporting the future McMeat puppet idiots who get called up uh, and look at who who... Who was that tag team, uh, the, the fucking idiots that thought they were the road warriors minus the muscles, okay? They were treated like god-awful shit. Uh, Tommaso and Ciampa and uh, Johnny Gargano in the middle of a hot angle, a hot feud. Remember that, 2019 on NXT? They were in the middle of their uh, death match of dueling, and then they got called up to the main roster as a tag team. And all you uh, NXT marks had to sit there and stick your thumb in your ass and try to figure that one out from a creative perspective. Because guess what? Vince, in his mind, and I'm not going to say that he has dementia. I'm not going to say that he has Alzheimer's. But <laughs> if the guy's getting older, I'm not making fun of people that are suffering from those situations. Those are horrible, god-awful situations. But would you trust a 75-year-old man with a remote control to the TV? Would you trust Vincent Kennedy uh, Jr. McMahon with the, the, all these wrestlers and their fates and their futures? I wouldn't, but that's just me. So <laughs> you got my theory is that Jr. literally in his state of mind looks at these NXT guys as coming in from some other territory. Like in, in his mind, because he doesn't spend time in Orlando, Florida, he doesn't spend time with these wrestlers grooming them. Uh, he thinks they're coming in from WCW or the territories. Like, you know what I mean? Like, his mind is not working properly. Now, you Fox might say, well, gee whiz, Mike, he owns all of it. I understand. What do you have to be to be a next-level wrestling uh, aficionado or historian like myself is you have to realize the patterns of behavior and the decline of behavior. And what, uh, in other words, his mind is not working like a rational human being. You know what I mean? So when he sees... Uh, this Tommaso Ciampa, or he sees um, Keith Lee. I mean, I remember a year ago, you guys were all jerking a circle about Keith Lee. Oh, my God, Keith Lee. Keith Lee. Oh, bask in his glory. Bask in his jobberhood. I mean, he's brought in. He's cloaked in a giant shirt. Uh, his music has changed, and he becomes S.D. Jones. <laughs> look at, look, or Rufus R. Jones. I mean, he's become a fucking joke. So that's, you know, and apologies to Rufus R. Jones and, and S.D. Jones because the way that Keith Lee has been presented has been as a big fat piece of shit, okay? And, and a year ago, you guys are all jerking off about Keith Lee. Oh, Keith Lee. Keith Lee sucks now. Why? Because Vince McMahon wants him to suck. Because Vince McMahon doesn't like him. Why? Because he was good in NXT. Because in Vince corrupted thinking, delusional or demented Vince thinking, uh, junior thinking, DJT, demented junior thinking, Keith Lee is not a Vince McMahon pr of a project or a product or a character. He's from somewhere else. Now, Vince, in his delusional thinking or his demented thinking, doesn't acknowledge that he owns that something else, that this NXT is his property. He, he thinks of it as a competition. That's what I'm trying to explain. Yes, it doesn't make sense, but I'm telling you that in his fucking mind, that's how the synopses in his brain are working. They're corrupted, they're delusional, they're demented. So you have to understand that. And you can argue with it, well, that doesn't make sense. Well, assholes, nothing in the WWE makes sense. 
Kenneth Mobley, need I say fucking more? They don't hire people that actually like wrestling, watch wrestling, know wrestling. They hire, oh, Kenneth, you have no wrestling experience. You're perfect. That's the level of disrespect they have for professional fucking wrestling. Jim Ross on his podcast the other day says, we weren't allowed to say pro wrestling. We had to say sports entertainment. And you're going to fucking watch this company and die on the hill and defend them? Well, CM Punk's not. Daniel, Bri oh, sorry, Brian Danielson's not. They're not going to defend this piece of shit company anymore. They got their wives, they got their money, and they're fucking gone. So there's no goddamn loyalty. Uh, there's no goddamn we owe this uh, demented junior piece of shit anything. Uh, Moxley left. And you remember, listen to Moxley on the Jericho broadcast when he left. He said, the old man will die in the fucking chair. He'll die in that chair. And he'll make shitty goddamn decisions that ruin careers and humiliate people. He'll put Big Show in a fucking diaper. He'll put Sir Stratus on, his, on her knees. He doesn't give a fuck about the integrity of human beings, the integrity of characters, and he'll die in that chair. So there you fucking go. So if you want to go, it's, well, I'm from the Northeast. I got to watch this shit. No, you don't. You know what I mean? It's called We Live for Fucking Laundry, folks. I'm in Florida. Tom Brady's in Florida. Tampa fucking Bay, folks. Now, I had this hat five years ago. Do you think I wear this hat in public now? No. Because bandwagon. We cheer for fucking laundry, folks. Wake up. I mean, it's, it's a childish thing to be loyal to loyalty or loyal to things that aren't loyal to you. Was Tom Brady loyal to the goddamn New England Patriots after six Super Bowls? No. He went out and got himself a Super Bowl fucking ring on his own. He said, fuck you, Bill Belichick. Fuck you, Robert Kraft. Fuck you, New England. I'll do it on my own. I'll carry this Florida franchise on my fucking back. And that's what he did. And Daniel Bryan and CM Punk are the same way. And to cheer for these wrestlers or these football players or anybody in a childish manner, thinking that they give a fuck about you or they give a fuck about the community or they give a fuck about the team, you're being an idiot, Mark. Wake the fuck up. Adults look out for themselves. They don't give a fuck about loyalty. <laughs> you know what I mean? How could, he, how could Daniel do this? How could he do it? Idiot. He doesn't give a fuck. He doesn't. He cares about the money and the pussy. He's got his wife that he's fucking. They've had children. And now he gets to hang out with all the cool kids. Now he gets to act like he's 25 and ROH again. You know what I mean? He doesn't have to sit around and watch a prehistoric events and he doesn't have to sit on the sidelines for two years when he went, didn't want to because his physicals that he was failing i'm talking about brian danielson now he gets to go and wrestle with the cool kids he gets to have a 60 minute broadway with omega he gets to you know wrestle all these young sammy guevara's and all these people he gets to see all his friends and they work what once or twice a week at the most i mean i was going to these uh AEW shows for six months and I said, holy shit, these wrestlers have it so goddamn easy. They're not touring. Now, this is when they weren't doing the live shows in different communities, in different uh, cities. But they're doing one show at Daly's Place. Then they have the, the darks and the, you know, the darks and the elevations and all this stuff. But it's all in one location, an outdoor amphitheater. There's a low risk of COVID. Uh, they're in a beautiful city of Jacksonville. And uh, they're having the time of their goddamn lives and getting paid for it. It's a wrestler's wet fucking dream. I'm going to wrestle once or twice a week at the most, cut a couple of promos, do some bullshit uh, promos for the YouTube, do a podcast and get paid full time. They're in the lap of fucking luxury. You know, go to the gym. Uh, now they have to travel one day a fucking week or, or I guess two days once to get there, once to get back or whatever the fuck. These wrestlers are having the goddamn time of their lives. You're going to compare that to working for Junior and Triple H and Stephanie and just knowing how miserable and god-awful those human beings are? It's, it's, it's just an easy choice. For the wrestlers that have the position to choose, uh, even the Mark Henrys and the Big Shows, I mean, these are old guys. You know, they're, they're old guys that say, fuck, we can make decent money talking and doing nothing and, and just getting that easy paycheck? Uh, Taz... Left this fucking podcast to be part of this. It's an easier promotion to work for. You don't have crazy old Vince. So what do you tolerate? You, to do you tolerate Marco's stunt running around like an asshole? You tolerate 
that half the locker room doesn't know what the fuck they're doing. They're getting paid. These top people, the punks, the Brian, uh, I'm talking about the former uh, WWE guys, the big show. It's just easy fucking money for them. So it's not about, oh, I have to be loyal to Vince. Vince uh, Jr., WWE, they hire 300 people to do 100 jobs. There's too many on-screen talents. There's too many commentators. When you when you had that purge, you know, that uh, I mean, people got so goddamn upset. Black Wednesday. Oh, my God, they fired Braun Strowman. Oh, I'm crying. Why do you give a fuck? They fired Peyton Royce. Who cares? If you want to have sympathy for human beings, walk down the street and give a homeless person a fucking sandwich. You're not going to do that. But you'll Twitter fuck about some stupid goddamn wrestler who doesn't give a fuck about you. Your priorities are malaligned, idiots. Oh, I'm going to, I'm going to call it Black Wednesday. And, and I mean, I saw people, you know, and probably nice people, but just naive young people. People tweeting on fucking Thursday. I'm still shook it up about yesterday's WWE releases. You're shook it up. Uh, go out uh, to a fucking hospital and, and see the amount of people in the goddamn hospital bed with a goddamn disease. See the people dying of cancer. See the children in the, in the cancer wards. Uh, deal in reality like I do every day. See the political unrest, the, the racial profiling, all these horrible things that are happening in the world. And you're, you're fucking worried about these goddamn sports entertainers losing a job and then they're just getting another, another job somewhere else. Get your fucking priorities straight, uh, Marks, idiots, McMeat puppet Marks. I'm just telling you, it's kind of sad and it's kind of pathetic when I see people, and I'm sure that they're nice people, but they're just, you're warped. Your thinking is warped and your view of reality is limited if you're concerned about these professional wrestlers and how they're going to deal with getting fired from a wrestling company when there's children in cancer wards and there's people with pandemics and there's countries in, in unrest and there's threats of war and the water's polluted and we're all pissed off about everything. Wake the fuck up. You know what I mean? You're watching too much goddamn wrestling if these are your concerns. These fucking idiot wrestlers who are puppets that are genuinely hungry for their strings. I tried by the fucking way. Everyone would get their dicks in an uproar. Oh my God, that Raw was a mess. Okay, you hooked me. I had to put it on for a minute. I see John Cena coming out. <laughs> to be honest, he looks different. I mean, granted, he hasn't been in the gym. He's not. He's probably 30 pounds less. But it looks like he's swimming in his old John Cena clothes. And his hair's grown out. He looks weird. And um, he, Matt Riddle comes out. And then the two of these fucks are, like, doing a selfie together. And I turn the goddamn show off. I said, I can't. I can't. I knew at that point that they were having... Uh, you know, because I didn't watch it live. They're having you know, Goldberg come out to challenge Lashley, and Nikki Ash is winning these titles. And I've got nothing against these people, except Bill Goldberg. You can watch my Bill Goldberg, Bill Goldberg videos to see what I think of him, the Bret Hart career ender, Goldberg. Uh, but for me, just watching, as soon as I saw Riddle and Cena, I'm like, I can't watch this. There's no need for me to watch this program. There's no desire for me to watch this program. I know where it's all headed. It's headed for the shit show. It's a Saudi Arabian sp sponsored shit show circus. If you're supporting this company, fuck you, bottom line. So there you have it. I just feel like, I feel like I've said what I had to say. Uh, it's AEW all the way. Look, in five years from now, if AEW is out of business and this was all just a fever fucking dream, as Conrad likes to say, a fever dream, that Southern stupid expression, guess what, fine. But I'm going to ride this fucking dragon for as long as it's worth. A-E fucking W. Okay? That's where all the cool kids are headed. That's where all the fun is. That's where all the money is. That's where all the good times are. Okay? Companies have been in business less than two years and they're kicking McMahon's ass all over fucking Wednesday nights. They kicked his ass off Wednesday nights. So there you fucking have it. WWE is a dinosaur. And what happens to dinosaurs? They go extinct. That's it. And the meteor is named AEW. Hashtag raw protest was right all along. Uh, I was in business with raw protest before AEW. I set the fucking table. And now the table has been uh, nourished. So there you fucking have it. Woo! Mike Messier destroys WWE. You're welcome. Subscribe to Mike Messier YouTube channel.